Okay, so I have to admit that I'm a little bit nervous. This video is probably going to get me into a bit of trouble with the PlayStation community, but I think we need to be very open and honest about The Last of Us Part 1 Remake, because there has been a ton of leaks last night that showed a bunch of uncut gameplay, explaining the new graphics, the new AI, the new combats, and the fact that it's really not a remake at all. And I kind of want to dive deep on my entire thoughts about this. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's begin with what the leak actually was. Now, I can't show it to you in its entirety, but it's essentially this exact scene. I decided to play through it again this morning just for funsies. This is my gameplay. The remake looks 99% identical to this. It's actually so close to this graphically, visually, empirically that I could say that this is the remake and you probably wouldn't have told the difference. Now, I feel very mixed about this because The Last of Us Part 1 is still one of my very favorite games of all time. Not only is it such an immaculate story, not only is it just so fun to play, but on top of that, it just has a lot of personal importance to me. Like, straight up, one of my very favorite gaming memories, something I'm going to treasure to the day I die, is when Last of Us first came out back in 2013. Uh, my girlfriend at the time really liked zombies, but she'd never played a video game ever, we decided in our little teeny tiny apartment, we had this TV, this TV did not even have speakers on it, so we had to play the game with headphones in, and we each put one earbud in and sat side by side and took turns playing through levels of The Last of Us. It is still something, I will keep that inside me forever. And The Last of Us Part 1 Remake, it sort of seems like a cash grab. The new graphics, the new AI, like, there is some nice little tweaks to the visuals, but I guess when we knew that they were making a remake, the fact that they were trying to make a new version of perhaps the best game ever, I expected more. But let's talk about what specifically I expected. Now, first and foremost, I want to take a look at a couple mean tweets and some anger about this because the conversation online has been so divisive. Some people are very vehemently trying to defend it. Like right here, we have Broken Games HD, who very much loves Sony. No hate at all. The guy loves Naughty Dog a lot. And he said this, the improvements I expected from The Last of Us Part 1 remake are visuals, animation, AI, limb dismemberment, body damage, aiming, minor weapon customization. What I was not expecting is prone or dodging don't seem we're getting uh even getting most of what i expected yeah so uh, honestly he's not even freaking defending this actually this is crazy really we're getting better visuals there are no new animations in the new game which means that even like meleeing people looks identical to it did in the gameplay it seems like the ai was dumb as hell limb dismemberment body damage does not seem to be in the game the aiming is slightly better you know, weapon customization is slightly better, but it just seems like whatever the heck they're trying to do with this remake, it's very, very minimal. In fact, I even replied and said, enemies still look dumb as hell, but yeah, the aiming does look faster. I wanted new level layouts, bigger areas, and something new to make it feel fresh. That $70 price tag really not feeling worth it to me right now personally. So a lot of people seem to be coming at me very hard. A lot of people actually seem upset that I am not thrilled about this remake. People saying like, why did you expect new level layouts or bigger areas? Well, honestly, it's because of this thing from the original trailer, rebuilt from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. They're acting like this is going to be a big flashy PlayStation 5 game, but it still looks like a PlayStation 3 game a little bit. Like the character models are better looking, but in general, it's hard to say that this is a remake. Like rebuilt from the ground up for the PlayStation 5, well then why does it look like something that's two generations old? Now, I actually have heard a specific comeback to this again and again and again. People say, okay, Dreamcast guy, you're not happy about this, but you bought Demon Souls. You bought the Demon Souls remake. I actually have it right here. I decided to pull it out. The Demon's Souls remake is also a game I love a lot. I am a big, big, big fan 
of all the Dark Souls games. Now that game personally to me is something I enjoy a lot. I do love Demon Souls, but also additionally, I've always been a big From Software fan. You see, I've got my original copy of Demon Souls right here. Kingsfield, which nobody even remembers is an old FromSoft game. Well, here is my thought. Not only is the Demon Souls remake a complete actual rebuilding of the game, pixel by pixel, bit by bit, polygon by polygon, but additionally, they took it from the PlayStation 3 all the way up to the PlayStation 5. Honestly, part of the reason that I was more accepting of that $70 price tag is that it finally made it accessible. I didn't want to hook up my PlayStation 3 every single time I wanted to just experiment back with a new build in Demon's Souls. And honestly, I do think the remake had a lot of tiny tweaks that made it better on top of completely redone and exceptionally better visuals. I cannot get over the fact that the Demon Souls remake was objectively a full-blown remake, whereas what we're getting with Last of Us Part 2 is definitely just a remaster of a remaster. They've already said officially inside of interviews and stuff that this is just the original animations, it's the original acting, they just spruced it up a tiny bit more. Now, I want to go back to some tweets here because a lot of people have been saying this. Man, more Last of Us just leaked. There's no way around it. This is a huge L for Naughty Dog. The saddest part is probably taking two years to make this. No way around it, if all this is true. Maybe sell it for $50 and have an upgrade path for people who own it on PlayStation 4. Like, this is something I've actually seen a lot of people talking about, is should it have been cheaper? That's kind of my biggest point of contention. I've actually talked right here, Last of Us Part 1 Remake gameplay really hasn't impressed me at all. I've now watched all the leaks, and I'll have to talk about it in a video tomorrow. And hey, look, it's that video. For $70, I expect something at least slightly new, Sigh. Now, a lot of people have been coming at me and saying, okay, look, yeah, we knew it was going to be a cash grab, or people saying, it's just like Demon's Souls. Oh, look, it's just like Demon's Souls, even though that game was priced, it's nearly the exact same. See, a lot of people seem to be sort of, I think the idea of a remake, that game was an actual remake. The Last of Us Part 1 is just a remaster of a remaster. PlayStation has done a lot of remakes, like Medieval. Medieval is another giant one. They took that from the PlayStation 1 all the way up to the PlayStation 4. They did it with the Ratchet & Clank remake, where they took it from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 and completely rebuilt the game. My biggest point of contention is the fact that this is just objectively not a remake. It is just a remaster. It, it's a graphics mod. It's something it feels like fans could have worked on in their free time. Like It reminds me of whenever people do those like tweaks of Half-Life. Here's a tweet right here. The Last of Us Part 1 gameplay leak. This is worse than I thought. Graphics and gameplay wise, this looks like a remaster, not a remake. I never thought I'd be skipping this, but I actually might. Now, some people are going a bit into crazy town. Uh, this guy is an absolute psychopath. This guy actually tweets about how he hates PlayStation all day long, but he's been saying this. I'm going to put on my big old whiny voice for this tweet because this guy is definitely having a bad day. Bull shit. Delay this abomination right now. Herman Holst, PlayStation, Naughty Dog, Neil Druckmann. This is unacceptable. Delay the end of my remake. Okay, this guy is definitely a psychopath. Uh, I've scrolled through this guy's tweets. Uh, he calls this thing 99% uh, positive messaging. Uh, this guy definitely has never touched grass. In fact, this may be an AI bot that just generates the worst opinions possible. But I think it's funny that people are genuinely sort of talking about maybe delaying the game. I'm taking these Last of Us leaks semi-serious because I'm sure they cranked the difficulty to easy to make that AI look worse. I hope that's what I'm seeing at least. Now, this guy, John, Right here, Johnny Jack moved. This guy actually already bought the game. He is feeling incredibly scammed because he already purchased it. He already paid the $70, and now he's just like, well, maybe I got screwed over. I like the fact that people are comparing this to other recent remasters we have. Something like Activision made the uh, Modern Warfare 2 remaster for $20. Uh, which, I mean, quite frankly, this is such a giant leap for a remaster. This was a $20 remaster. Gosh. Yeah, God, these, yeah, that, that's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's a tough comparison for sure. Jesus. Here's my buddy Kofi. He says this, the last of us part one leaks are everywhere and the gameplay improvements are very minuscule. Seems like a re remaster 
more than a remake. It's a freaking graphics mod. This guy is a PlayStation YouTuber, and I've seen a tiny bit of his stuff, but he definitely, on Twitter at least, defends Sony extremely hard, and he says this, well, gameplay of The Last of Us Part 1 has leaked, and all I can say is this, it looks the same. If I saw a raw two minutes of combat, and well, if there were any changes made to the gameplay, I couldn't tell. Hope there's more to it. Look at that. Everybody's saying Naughty Dog needs to do a state of play. They need to actually show this game. Right now, these leaks make it look absolutely terrible. People saying it is a pure cash grab. The game needs to be boycotted. Jesus. Last of Us Much 2. This, this is such a stupid take, honestly. Last of Us Part 2 wasn't much different either. Not sure why people expected more. Anybody who's played The Last of Us Part 2... The Last of Us Part 2, the more I've played through that game, the more I'm sort of just stunned as to how beautiful it was, how fun it was. Like, Last of Us Part 2's story, uh, I mean, it's a wet fart in an elevator. It sucks. I'm not going to defend the story, but graphically, visually, animation-wise, resolution-wise, I mean, the way the combat works, having these slowly upgraded weapon systems, the fact that there's two separate characters that each had different weapon loadouts and combat styles and would customize melee weapons on the fly to spike people and stuff. The Last of Us Part Two absolutely deserves the simping it got. but And Last of Us Part 1 deserves the simping it got as well because for its time, it's still such a stalwart example of amazing PlayStation 3 design. And the remaster on PlayStation 4 is exceptionally good as well. But right now, I do see people talking about the idea of a boycott, about just straight up not giving Naughty Dog the money for this idea of a remake. As it stands, uh, I am, I'm very disappointed. I wanted more. I didn't want everything. I, I'm not expecting something, but, but uh, to me, I wanted bigger environments. The Last of Us Part 1 is very straightforward. It's almost an interactive hallway at times with very much A to B to C environments. I wanted a bit more of the expansiveness of Last of Us Part 2 input into Last of Us Part 1. I wanted a bit more wide open areas for the combat, times where someone could try and sna snipe me or flank me, or times where I actually had to try and critically think about, you know, when clickers are attacking humans and I need to figure out where into the struggle do I want to insert myself. The Last of Us Part 1 remake isn't a remake. I actually think Neil Druckmann lied. But that's just my thoughts. This is a remaster of a remaster. It is a $70 graphics mod. If you're willing to support that, that's on you. I'm still probably going to review it because I'm curious, and honestly, I do a lot of game reviews, but as it currently stands, I am waiting for Naughty Dog to prove me wrong. But what do you think? Are you excited for The Last of Us Part 1 Remake? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, but please, Keep dreaming and like the video and play remakes like this one and 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 this one. Play this on uh, PlayStation Plus. It's cheap. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.